Hey everyone, it's Sleepy Reader, um, kind of coming at you with a, uh, a thought or a question, uh, which <laughs> is a pretty obvious no-brainer one in comic books. Who's more important, the artist or the writer? And the obvious answer is they're both very important. Um, but it's something that I kind of have been thinking about lately, and there just happened the other day to be an article on... Um, what's it called, the comicbookresources.com that, uh, and the article was called How Artists' Contributions to the Creation of Comics Are Overlooked. And the article is a bit, a bit on the insider baseball bit, somewhat about um, lawsuits between artists and writers and companies and also about the way the comic book press deals with comic books these days, how they usually just call it you know, Brian Michael Bendis' Avengers or Robert Kirkman's um, Super Dinosaur, and not mentioning the artist when they, when they t uh, credit the stories. <clears throat> and uh, just lately I've been thinking about how I really do care a lot about the artists, and because for quite a long number of years now I've been thinking, well, all that really matters is the writers. Or I, I should choose my comics, but that they're when they're by writers that I like. Uh, probably all goes back to Alan Moore and and that and uh, Neil Gaiman and that kind of thing. And after after those two guys kind of kept knocking the knocking the ball out of the park, you'd start wondering, well, what are the other good writers? And then you'd start looking for anything by Warren Ellis or anything by uh, now my mind goes blank. But you know what I mean. So that seems to be the modern trend, is, is viewing comics by the writer. Um, but uh, a lot of the storytelling is done by the artist. And uh, a big question in my mind would be, do you buy, uh, do you buy a comic because of... Will you buy a comic book with a bad artist because you like the writer? Will you buy a comic book by a writer you don't like because you like the artist? Uh, and if I'm honest with myself, I'm much more likely to buy a comic book by a writer that I am neutral to eh on if I really love the artist. And if I look at a comic book and the art really doesn't appeal to me, it's really hard to buy that comic book, even if it's by an art, a writer who I particularly like. And I certainly won't buy, buy it if it's just by a writer who I think is okay if, if the artist is cruddy or, you know, not to my taste. Um, and when I first started reading comics, it was all about the artist, I think, or that was all I was aware of. And I would look for, you know, art by John Byrne or the rare comics were the ones by the artists that you really liked, like finding old Neil Adams art or Jack Kirby art or Bernie Wrightston art. Those always made the comics more valuable at the time I started. Um, <clears throat> although I think some of those artists have gone out of fashion, you know, who were the hot deal back then. And so their stuff isn't worth so much at the moment. But um, just thinking about it, I realize uh, if I go... If I'm, as I plan what I'm going to buy for the next week or the next month, I look, I now I look at the online samples that are usually of three or four pages, and, and I'm totally judging it by the art. And if I don't, if I'm turned off by the art, I'm not going to check it out, uh, unless it really is by a, a, a writer who I totally trust. But if the art's good, then I'm going to give the writer a chance. So I... At the moment, I'm I'm starting to think I'm beginning to lean away from that trend towards writers and and thinking that that artists are um, are something that's just as important or maybe like fifty five percent of it is the artist or and in, if the artist is really great sixty percent of it and I think a lot of pretty good writers can become a lot better with the right uh, the right um, artist. The artist will bring out the elements of the storytelling. It's like um, uh, an okay screenplay can be really good if a great actor is acting it out.
can make a huge difference. Um, and I think that's often what the artist is like, a little bit of a director and a little bit of an actor, or a lot of an actor. Um, so, you know, it would be one thing uh, uh, to have Robert Downey Jr. doing Iron Man and a completely different thing to have... Uh, <laughs> who's an actor that I really don't like right now. <laughs> to have the guy who, who, uh, who's the star of How I Met Your Mother <laughs> play it. Uh, but anyway, um, so, and I don't mean to put down that actor, but I just can't picture him as Iron Man. Uh, so anyway, I'm wondering what other people think, and uh, has the, is the time of the artist coming back? Uh, it's certainly becoming more important for me. Um, and I think there's some comics that I read and I don't quite get them, and it's because the artist hasn't quite done his job doing storytelling. Uh, it's definitely a two-man job, and the ideal is a good writer and a good artist, obviously. Um, but it's an interesting thing to think about. Uh, and in that article, they talked a lot about how they constantly seem to just act as if the creator is the writer, and that's certainly a trend that's it's gone too far in the direction of writers, and it, now it needs to be corrected a little bit. So anyway, thanks for listening to me. I'll be back pretty soon with another review. Uh, I'll be reviewing Hulk Smash Avengers Action Comics number nine and Dial H number one uh, very shortly, probably tomorrow. See ya.